Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today I was going to go over, what is that? Twisted peppermint with you guys. I have my lovely assistant Sita today. It is Sunday morning. And I have a kitty loaf in here. Curly, one of the three stooges that we found a couple years ago, is in my office. He has decided to park himself in a bin. So this is my kitty loaf, Curly. <laughs> Our. Our kitty loaf. He's one of the three stooges. And our other one of our stooges went away. So we got a new kitten, Peanut. Uh, Momo passed away back in April, end of April, beginning of May. And um, we did lose Spencer last night. That was my sister's cat. May he rest in peace. He was the big bub tubbies. <laughs> he had some crystals in his bladder. bladder. Yeah, well, more than that, there were stones. And this is kind of a repeated issue with him. And he wasn't going to survive the surgery that they would have to do to be able to make you know make him better so um she had to make a very important decision he was older he was 15 but in cat in human years in human years so in cat in years he's a hundred over a hundred yeah um we are here today we want to say thank you to everybody for watching and we're going to get on with the twisted peppermint review we're going to start with the shower gel this was really, really strong and had a definite peppermint to it in the shower. The notes are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsams. So for me, it was more like a, it was a creamy peppermint, definitely, but some of those others I'm not really picking up on. It does definitely smell like a candy cane. Set up. Sorry. You're hitting the thing. I know. It definitely smells like a candy cane. Um... In the shower, it does not have a cooling effect, which is a good thing. What I noticed was that the lotion has, or the cream, I'm sorry, the body cream has a bit of a cooling effect. So I didn't go and grab the other Twisted Peppermint I had gotten as a gift for someone. I forgot to, but if you like minty, cooling, that type of thing, this would definitely be up your alley. I am kind of on the fence about this one just because the cooling aspect takes a lot for me to get you know, used to. I think this would actually be good in the evening if you're really tired and sore and that cooling effect might help make your muscles feel a little bit better, I would think. Um, it's nice overall. I'm not really picking up on like a fresh balsam. Maybe it's slightly there, but not much at all, especially for this. The fine fragrance mist also added, I'm sure, to the cooling effect. Curly's over here staring at me. He's he likes to come in the bathroom when I take a shower, so he probably remembers this, don't you? Huh. Um, it was nice and it was very, very strong. Um, I don't feel like it really stuck to me very much, but that's just me. I know my sister, Lisa, does use this every year and she's always getting compliments on her, so it on it, so it definitely stays on her. Um, I would probably recommend this. I don't think I'm buying another dupe of this. If it comes again next year and I don't have it anymore, then of course I probably would buy it just to have it. And I'd probably use it. I'm probably going to use it up this Christmas season, but kind of pick and choose on the days that I'm using it. That way, um, that cooling effect doesn't get to me because I was almost shivering the other morning when I used that. I think that's all we've got. And uh, all three of us, Curly included, would like to say have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.